Hey, we are live here at the Onset VFW, bringing you Feel the Music Live right here in beautiful Onset, Massachusetts. If you'd like to come down and be a part of our live studio audience, we would so appreciate that. Uh, we are located at 4 Gibbs, Ball Gibbs Ballpark Road, and that is in East Wareham if you're using a GPS. Um, we come to you live every Wednesday right here at the VFW from 8 to 9 o'clock. Uh, they do serve a fabulous dinner at 6 p.m. for only six bucks, seven if you want to take it to go. Tonight was uh, ribs and scalloped potatoes with cornbread and mixed veggies. It's always some kind of down home cooked meal that's uh, sure to stick to your ribs. But uh, we are a show called Feel the Music Live. We do have a website, it's called feelthemusic.us, and you can check out our entire schedule, which is, uh, I want to say, about 20 weeks of free live music every Wednesday night, right here at the VFW and Onset. We have a different performer come every week. Um, we did have a little bit of a mishap last week, and uh, nobody was here, but that's okay. We carry on. The show must go on, just like the show must go on this evening. Um, tonight, for your listening pleasure, we have a gentleman by the name of Lance Norris here to entertain you, minus the dog track gravy, but we're going we're gonna to overlook that for now, and uh, I'm sure Lance is going to bring us a tasty little mix of music here. He's got his harmonica. He's got a beautiful, um, I want to say that's a seagull. Oh no, it's a, what is that? Celebrity. Ovation? Ovation. Nice, very nice. Beautiful guitar. I think you're going to play something really beautiful for us. Or really fun. Really awesome. Some kind of some kind of rocking, uh, rocking deal. What are you going to do for us tonight? Uh, we'll, we'll do a bowl. We'll try a few things. All right. And don't just come down to watch. Come down and be in the band, because I have no idea what happened <laughs> if, I, if I had brought my percussion instruments, I'd be up here right now singing. But hey, if you need a backup singing, you just let me know. All right. All right, we're going to get we're going to let Lance do his thing here for a song and then I'm uh, going to come back up and we're going to do a, a quick little Q&A. You okay. can talk about whatever the heck you want. Cool. So uh, here you go folks, Lance Norris. Thank you. She smoked a pack a day since before the prom. A nasty little habit she had picked up from her mom. She never left the house without a pocket full of cigarettes. Till that people be a how to she forget. The one over there, the temple was lost. Fair of a temple, world of toss. They were just words, but know what they call. She didn't have a pocket change to get another pack. She didn't have a credit card to bank had took them back. Her bad mood got a fire from her shop and she swore it wasn't cigarettes, it must be BMS. Boyfriend didn't smoke, but he liked to chew. Asked her if she wanted some, she told him to screw. Got all pissed off because he couldn't take a joke. He sniped back and forth until it all went up in smoke. Won't open there the temple was lost. Fell the temple, world and tossed. They were just words, but know what they caused. The one over there. Never smoke, and it's not that often. Cause people always tell me they run another nail in your pocket. And if I said that I quit smoking, I would be your lion. Didn't quit smoking, I just quit buying. I want to know my lung is lost. I want to the lung, I got a bad cough. I cough up little bits, but at least they saw. Are you a, a recent smoker? Are you no, no I mean, actually, I never. I smoke cigars, mm -hmm. never smoke cigarettes, and I chew tobacco. 
So, yep. yeah, a little yeah. can string chicken gear. <laughs> yeah. That was a great song. That was oh, funny. Thank you. So you write all your own stuff, I would imagine. That is correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. I, uh, I, my, my, my standard line is life is too short to play in a cover band. <laughs> but the truth is, I, I don't do songs justice. Mm -hmm. So if I write them, I feel like I can sing them. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be covering anybody else's there stuff. That's, yeah. that's not right. Hmm. Well, don't ask me. I'm in a cover band. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with cover. I'm just saying. No, that's the not way right. I sing. If I wrote, I, I would. My interpretation of other people's songs is an ugly thing. So. <laughs> well, that's the beauty of it. It's it's your own interpretation. That's what I like about cover bands. Is, yeah. It's their own uh, expression of another person. Just tell me you don't play Mustang Sally. God no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. So, um, do you have any gigs upcoming that you want to talk about? Um, no. You know, we had the weirdest gig in the world. Last weekend, mm -hmm. we had a, actually a very busy week. I did uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, which for for me and my band, when they show up, is uh, you know that's a month's worth of work yep, for us. Yeah, that's a busy weekend. But we did this one up in Methuen at this place called Paul's Pub, mm -hmm. which is just we figured out later upstairs is a brothel, an actual working <laughs> brothel, which was no yeah, we would thought we were just really you know we finally got groupies, man. But right. no, it was a brothel, <laughs> and it was like a, it was like it was their basement. This this place it was they claimed to be a bar, really? but it was like a, I was expecting someone's mother to come down and yell at us. <laughs> I mean it was it was insane. Needless to say, we have a new booking agent. Nice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So it was fun. Did and then as we were leaving, we we're chatting with some people, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we were all in the news because of that shooting right over here." Oh good lord. Yeah. So it was like, <laughs> nice place, huh? Yeah. So I figured we'd come to beautiful Onset for yep. for tonight. I don't know. Maybe the band never got out of Methuen. Maybe. 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 So, Maybe. They're still at the brothel, who knows? Well, there's that too. Yeah, there's yes. that possibility. So um, when your band is here, what have you got for a piece? For how many pieces? Do uh, do we, I got about between eight and ten people. Wow. And it's kind of a rotating bunch. Mm -hmm. So we go you know, from your basic setup with the bass, drums, keyboards, uh, another guitar player, mm -hmm. steel guitar, fiddle, banjo, wow. contrabassoon. Uh, we've just been working with a cello player. Nice. Yeah. So you got a little bluegrass thing going on. In yeah, I mean, I like to call it Americana, just because it's like a, a mix of everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now, you know, with this this rig here, you're saying, oh, great, another hippie folk singer. <laughs> with message songs. Right, I said that category. Yeah, so, so yeah. What is, what is with that hum? Hum. Hum. Maybe it's just me and the monitors, I don't know. It's, I think it is. Okay. So, hey, uh, we're going to let you play a little while longer. And then okay. uh, we'll get up in a, a few more minutes. But for all of you out there in TV land that are tuned into our show, this is Feel the Music Live. We are coming to you live from the Onsen PFW with Mr. Lance Norris here, minus the dog track gravy, but uh, we're yeah. plugging right along here. Lance is going to bring us some tasty little numbers this evening. I hope you like it. I've enjoyed your first song. Well, thank you. And I'm sure I'll enjoy the rest. Um, if you'd like to be a part of our live studio audience, we definitely do encourage that. We are located at 4 Gibbs Ballpark Road, that's right in Onset, or East Wareham if you're using your GPS. You can also tune in to your local TV, Channel 9 or 30, and please tell your out-of-town friends if they like music of all kinds, they can log on to www.wareham.tv.org, click on Livestream 2, and you'll find us just like you're watching us at home right now. So uh, we want to thank the VFW for having us here this evening and every Wednesday. They do let us camp out here every Wednesday. And of course, all the equipment comes from WCTV right here in Wareham, which uh, we couldn't do this little show without them. And we couldn't, of course, do it without you, our musicians. So uh, let's give it up once again for Mr. Lance Norris. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, like I said, uh, you know, I'm not a hippie. Well, I am a hippie folk singer. I just don't have any hair. Um, <laughs> But that first song, that's the only message song I'm going to do tonight. We're going to spend the rest of this evening uh, either singing drinking songs or making fun of old girlfriends and ex-wives. So. <laughs> I like m and and you like toys. We cool and get together so we settle in cool. Don't feel so bad. You can't be as what you never had. You took the car to 
see anything that wasn't nailed down. Took all my records, left my dog in the pound. But don't be so bad. You can't mean to switch in there by hand. Drink until you can't see. 
him a curveball every now and then. Pull this thing out. Now you may be wondering when they are here, how did I meet this band? Yes. I met them where most, most folk bands meet. That's at the uh, James Taylor Wing of the Methadone Clinic up on Mass Ave. <laughs> and they knew I was an authentic folk singer when I was tying off my veins with one of these before I showed up. <laughs> it's called a capo. And other than tying off the veins, I'm not exactly sure what it does. <laughs> but every night I like to put it in a different position on the neck <laughs> and play a song. <laughs> Come on, Lisa, my dirty little Cajun queen. You got a smile like a dirty crocodile, twice as tough and almost as mean. Come on, Lisa, you got a past like Charlie Sheen. Where would I be if I hadn't seen the black heart in those tight blue jeans? Off at your door. I looked pretty cute in that orange jumpsuit and a pardon from the good I know. I walked on over and said, Howdy, you held me off with a shield. said to her and so our thoughts go out to Steve and I want to uh, just go on record right now say that you lesbians I support you 100% so please do not beat me up tonight okay? I'm with you now when the band is here usually it's at this point in the show that the uh, stage is awash with Fongs and bras and hotel keys. And I want to thank you all for your restraint this evening. It's been very nice. But, but right now, you mentioned earlier about uh, my guitar. It's one of the finest guitars made from rainforest wood available on the black market. And this is some of the finest guitar picking I know. So uh, please restrain yourselves. Okay, okay. The truth, just one option, an option I'd rather not use. If you don't mind, I'll just watch the news. Cause the news is never that clever, and they keep things. faces that are nothing too bright NPR is too depressing 
newspapers stain my hands. I don't mind confessing that there are things I don't understand. I'm about as deep as a real brand. So gosh darn friendly, but never gets things right. Over gloomy, don't jump ski eyes. So I'll keep on watching the news as exempted. directly from the headlines. That's going to be interesting because these songs evolve depending on who's playing in the band and lately we've sounded a lot like one of those uh, Bakerfield bands, Buck Owens and all that. So that's where this one was going. So I don't know how it's going to turn out tonight, but we'll give it a shot. <clears throat> Say to yourself, why is this folk singer? Why is he down here on the Cape when everybody's occupying Boston? Uh. <laughs> and why well, I'm not hanging out with the 99%? And there's a very good reason. It's because I do sing protest songs, I do sing songs about suffering, but I represent the 1% because, you know, we really don't ever hear it from them. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Twiggy Top and Middle Bottom here. I'm a little put out 
Cause Domino's ran out of trout pizza. We'll make do with the buffalo and the brie. They don't get here in five minutes. At least it's free. We had to give the cook the long weekend for Martin something day. All she left us was some finger sandwiches and a can of pay. We'll make it through Tuesday if we don't run out of booze. Too rich to bitch blues. I'm too rich to bitch blues. some roofies and he called it seduction. Paid her off some implants and her brother's breast reduction. <laughs> I talk like I'm street, but I drive a suburban. Drink my scotch neat and pretend that it's bourbon. Sorry, I'm having a Rick Perry moment. <laughs> my farts don't stink, and my blood couldn't be pure. I'll blow a 3.8 quicker than my low air can blow a juror. I break more beamers and puked on more shoes. Too rich to bitch blues. I got modest underwear and whales on my belt. Too bad I was on stop making shirts out of unborn beaver belt. Sweet the Dillion was booked by a sodic prince. Had to rent a house for the weekend that was owned by George Wentz. My grandfather's father was the last middle bottom that had to work. My arrogance is charming. If I was poor, I'd be a used car selling jerk. I don't want to, but I owe it to the world to reproduce. Too rich to bitch blues. Too rich to bitch blues. I got him blue. But I can't be. Too rich to be. <laughs> and on purpose too. <laughs> Did you ever do stand up? A uh, long, long time. Did ago. you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. What else inspires you besides wanting to make people laugh and having a good time? Well, I, I got um, I have five kids, and the oldest is uh, over at BU, and the youngest is seven months old. Mm. So my wife normally locks me in my room to keep me away from her. <laughs> and uh, so I have a lot of free time on my hands to, uh, to write stupid songs. That's great. Yeah. You're very entertaining. <laughs> well, so much. Yeah. Do you have a website you want to tell everybody about? Uh, yeah, there's a, if you know about Reverb Nation, mm -hmm. which is ReverbNation.com, and you can either search Lance Norris and the Dog Track Gravy or just put slash Lance Norris and the Dog Track Gravy, all one <laughs> one word. And uh, I think there's uh, lancenorris.web.com or webs, plural, dot webs, dot com. So, so I'm stupid. Just Google me. I'm in All there. Right. We'll find you. We'll find I'm you. That's Lance Norris and the Dog Track Gravy. How do you get a name like the Dog Track Gravy? Uh, you steal it, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a, it's from a, a Dan Jenkins novel called Baja, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan Jenkins is one of the greatest golf writers ever. And this was not a golf novel, so I figured I could steal the name and no one would ever know. Uh, but no, they're actually they're a minor character in the novel. The dog, uh, Lonnie Slocum and the dog track gravy. And, uh, it's, it's just a, an image. It's, it's so rich with uh, imagery that mm -hmm. I felt we had to go with it. Originally, we were called the, uh, the Island of the Misfit Toys, oh, but nice. I think it hit a little too home with some of the band, so. <laughs> yeah, I can relate to that, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm relating to this a lot of This is just your night tonight. It really is my night. <laughs> I really needed the 
this. Thank you. Well, thank nice. you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. We're going to let you play some more. Um, probably another 20 minutes or so, if you're up for that. I guess. <laughs> Dude, I thought we, we started late so we could... Oh. <laughs> no, are you kidding me? I could play all night. <laughs> That's great. I don't need a stinking band. Right on. <laughs> so do you have any gigs coming up? Um, nothing right away. Nothing... Um, I've been I've been directing a play up at MIT, so oh, neat. yeah, it kind of cuts into the, mm -hmm. the fool and around time. What are you directing? Uh, it was Macbeth, mm -hmm. which now that I've said oh, it on this stage, mm -hmm. your evening has just turned even worse because oh, yeah. it is cursed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It is true. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to so, say something backwards now. Or something. Yeah, yes. Yep. And then spin around, but you'll yep. fall off the stage and break your legs. So yep. don't do that. Okay, I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know we are playing the chicken bone. Oh, the, nice! Or the bone, as they yeah. call it. Up but that's not until like January. My old stomping grounds. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've never played. Is that a nice play? I've never, it is. It's really good. you got to have the wings. Yeah. Definitely got to have the wings. Okay. Yeah, it's a great little place. Yeah, but are they good to the band? Do so they pay the band, or is it, like, is it like Paul's with the brothel upstairs? No, they're very good to the band, actually. Goosey I did a, for your I did a, a Tuesday tryout there. Oh, I'll nice. Do that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, so, yeah, it was a good time. So thank you, Mr. Lance Norris, for coming and entertaining us this Certainly. evening. Uh, yeah. Please Google. And that's not dirty, but please Google Lance Norris and uh, check out his music. There is a website out there, and uh, I'm sure you can find him out there. Lance Norris, webs, dot webs dot com. Yeah. Lance yeah, Norris yeah. on Reverb Nation. Check yeah. it out. Lance Ooh. Norris and the Dog Track Gravy. Be sure to check it out. Yeah. This guy's a riot, and uh, we're very entertained by you. So thank you so much for well, coming. Thank you. You're very welcome. And uh, tomorrow, if I wake up, I'll be doing the midday show oh. on WATD, which is 95.9. Oh, excellent. In Marshfield. And only in Marshfield. Mm -hmm. Leave Marshfield, you can't hear the station. Right. So, <laughs> so you, come to Marshfield and uh, listen to the midday show. And listen to the radio. Just drive around Marshfield and turn, tune in to that station and just yes. listen, listen to you. But you so can you, take the recent murders tour through Marshfield. Oh, okay, very good. That'll, that'll take all four hours. <laughs> you can do yeah. that nonset, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So you actually do have some radio history, from what I understand. Yes, yeah, yes. WBCN. Yeah, I was there for a long time really? with uh, Charles Lockwood and yeah. the Big Mattress. Yep. Yeah, that was a fun show. Very good. And then we moved over to ZLX, mm -hmm. and then uh, Charles retired to Hawaii. Yes, he sure did. Yes. He, he had uh, appeared on our show last year as a oh, guest host. That's I had heard that, yeah. Yeah, we had a, a hoot. It was a riot. Yeah. It was a real fun time. So, So yeah, we have another... BCN alumni here on our stage for sure. So we'll, we'll, get, we'll get the interns down next. Right. We'll just keep going right down. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Well, all right, Lance, we're gonna let you do your thing. All right. You want to hear a song so about a car? Absolutely. All right. Thank I, I don't you. write car songs. <laughs> I don't. I, just, I, I don't know. Springsteen said you had to write car songs. I said, well. Well, you gotta listen to the boss, I guess. <laughs> you got. <laughs> Uh, let's see. <clears throat> sure, I remember this one. See, that's the beautiful thing about having a band. When you're playing the guitar, you can just pretend you're Elvis for a little while and just let it sit there and let the band play all the chords. <laughs> Not tonight. A song about a car before, about as foreign to me as the Peloponnesian War. Got behind the wheel and something just happened. I fell for quicker than the army of Athens. She's a two tone cyclone. Everybody wants to take her home. Wish I could, but sure enough, she caught my blood. In that song by Paul McCartney Only without being so melodramatic Bucket seats and a Ford ship to Matic 66 GT with a dress up kit Four barrel vehicles and lifted me split Of course I never looked under the hood But the grease monkeys tell me she's no horse of wood She's a two-tone Cyclone Everybody wants a telephone Wish I could but sure enough she called my blood. So there I was on a Friday night, the convertible king of every stoplight. When the hottest piece 
the tail says dancing rigging Pulled up next to me and her dad is Lincoln I looked at her, she looked at the car Then looked up at me like I was a movie star Then she peeled out at me with my face Once she got a look at them dealer pants Cause I'm a two-tone cyclone Everybody falls and take a home Almost did her sure enough she called my blood. singer such as yourself, how do you make any money? And to be, you know, truth be told, there isn't a lot of money in folk singing. There's one way to make the money, and that's to get a job on a children's show. So I bit the bullet, I went up to that giant pa palace that uh, WGBH has, and tried to audition for a children's show. And they said, well, this is all well and good, you can try and sing for us, son. But what we do, well, we want you to sing us a song about friendship. I thought for a couple of minutes, I said, I know all about friendship. I can write a song about friendship. So this is my audition song. <clears throat> I think it was Rough Ruffman. I think that was the name of the show. Or Fetch or something like that. Some damn dog show, huh? Please don't tell me to be calm. You're starting to sound just like my mom. The girl done dropped an F bomb. She said that we're friends. That tears it, it's over now. It's worse than saying no, pulling a gun. Even though we're on the run. Another one of you slugs Even though she works At a rub and tug She <laughs> said that we're friends <laughs> Now friends go ice skating And friends go to the zoo Friends lend money When the rent comes due <laughs> Friends do everything That couples do Except they're just friends Johnny Cash. My G and the E. And I bring that up only because I have time to kill and I'm bitter. Uh, <laughs> Ed Maloney actually beat me out of half writing credit on a song just for throwing that G chord into the middle of it, right here. So normally when I play the song now, I don't put in the G chord just out of spite, even though, even though he still gets his BMI cut. Try this could be this could be interesting. I don't think I've ever played this song on just the acoustic guitar. This could be history, or this could really suck. <laughs> I guess you don't feel the same Check me out an old friend Just to see if there's any words But tell me they just don't know Oh, 
your knees to heaven, honey. I gave you heaven salt to your last breath. No one told me about your tragic death. When I left you, you said you'd die. But honey, you haven't even tried. I gave you heaven salt to your last breath. You said you did it all as quick as you could. Within a week, you'd be stiff, stiff as wood. But no face could hang it. Or say it rails. No, taking the pipe would be something I might have missed. I guess you have served your last prayer. Told me about your tragic death. When I left you, you were good as dead. Now you're going back on what you said. I guess you ain't sucked your last breath. I guess you ain't sucked your last breath. You were told me about your tragic death. So you let us bring on. No one told me about that day. There you go. Complete with G chord. <laughs> do a song here. It's got a little bit of a story to it. Uh, back in the mid-80s, Bob Dylan was on his uh, never-ending tour, mm -hmm. and I was working a little of it with uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and it was an amazing little section of their tour that lasted for about two years, where Tom Petty would come out, he'd do his set, and then he and the Heartbreakers would back up Dylan during Dylan's set. And it was amazing but by the time we hit Australia, uh, if you know Bob Dylan, you may have heard of him. He's a little folk singer, and Tom Petty with a little pop outfit. Uh, they have very distinct inflections to their voices when they sing. So by the time we hit Australia, even the cat that was in the tour bus was going, me, <laughs> And I bring that up because I've written a song for her, uh, Tom Petty, and I've given it to him. And uh, he's got this little guy, Crasher, that uh, he handed the song to Crasher. And Crasher rolled it up and they smoked it. Because, uh, um, but I bring that up because this is the song that I've written for him. And now when I play it, I cannot play it without getting that Tom Petty, uh, Bob Dylan thing going in my voice. So if it slips in here, now you know why. <laughs> Your pretty penny Is that what I meant? What is that saying? For when you're spent Things I little ties. I know it's no excuse, but you're gonna have to ask Jesus for them shoes. <laughs> you can stop around, or get your fit.
You could marry Any one of those guys Let you pay dress up Glaze your dumb lines It's gonna come Just I'm not asking you to Praise be to Allah for Mario Prada. You know what? I can't see the set list anymore. So, driving down here, and I took the scenic route by way of Rhode Island, I think. Um, I uh, was listening to the radio, and there are two jack wagon stations out there that are playing Christmas songs already. And as you know, we're at least a week away from Thanksgiving. But to make matters worse, I, I borrowed my wife's van, and uh, she changed all of her presets to those two stations. So she loves the Christmas music. So I'm driving down, I'm getting the Christmas music in my head. Nothing I can do about it. And I've written several Christmas songs, as you can tell, as a, as a hippie folk singer <laughs> and a sensitive fella. You might have guessed. Oh, I've got a sock full of Christmas songs. Anyway, we talked earlier about uh, being on BCN. Mm -hmm. And oh yeah, I did exploit that. This was one of the uh, BCN top 10 Christmas songs many, many years ago. It's called Santa Coptitude. Yeah, was busy working, sipping out the union shop. Five o'clock whistle blows, all the workers stopped. They put away their tools and hit the North Pole in. Yeah, it's like drinking beer, cause they don't let reindeer in. You can party all night, look out for the old dude. It's the night before Christmas and Santa's got the chew, yeah. Santa's bags have empty, productivity's down. He'll slacking off, there's not enough toys to go round. Daddy won't get no dolly, Jimmy won't get no train. The reindeer won't take off, baby, socked him by the rain. Well, you can wait up all night, but the morning truth is rude. It's the night before Christmas and Santa's got the two, yeah. It's kind of like that jackass, Sandusky. His enemy is asleep in, sugar pumps in his head. Santa comes a creeping, sneaks up on his bed. He wakes up in the morning, he finds his eyes are glued. Cause it's the night before Christmas and Santa's got the two. Hey! Sorry, that last verse just came to me. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Uh, that's eternal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Just want to see what was out there. 
till she showed it to the door. After about an hour, this girl took the next chair. She was working as a nanny. Lord, what no pair. One drink led to another. Woke up in L.A. Friday became Sunday. April turned to May. By the end of the summer, that girl put wore me down. Got the next flight homework. Had my story when I touched down. Searched me at the airport by minimum wage sleuth. He didn't find nothing, but I found what passed for the truth. Honey, don't pay that ransom The man needs to escape You left my heart to the box the job But I did it in the scrape Took me in a dark room And they found me with the tape Honey, don't pay that ransom The man needs to escape So if you ever find yourself In a similar bind Put yourself on the mercy Truth go all the way to count. Sit her on the sofa, shed a tear that can you win. Say you don't believe me, well then the terrorist win. And honey, don't pay that ransom, the man needs to escape. That dude lift a heart to the box the job, but I can't get him straight. Wanna let me call you or make a videotape? Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. Thank you for your our live studio audience, Amy, for coming. <laughs> <laughs> and now, of course, we couldn't be here without the generous donation of the aunts at VFW, uh, who lets us camp out here every Wednesday evening. We're here every Wednesday, 8 to 9. Feel free to come on down, be a part of our live studio audience. They do serve a killer dinner here, not literally killer dinner, at six o'clock for only six bucks, seven if you're taking it to go. Bring a friend or 10, we'd really appreciate it, and so would the band, I'm sure. Um, and by all means, please check out Lance Norris on Reverb Nation. Uh, Lance Norris and the Dog Track Gravy. And look for my band on Milk Carton near you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, stay cold, homeboy. <laughs> Thank you so much, you've been so entertaining. We oh, really, sure. really appreciate it. And uh, we want to give a shout out to WCTV, of course. Uh, they have all this equipment here for us to use. And uh, all the folks behind the cameras and out in the truck and right here in the hall, thanks so much. And I want to give a shout out to our people out there in Fort Wayne, Indiana, who I know are watching. Thank you very much. And uh, please check out our website. It is feelthemusic.us. We have an entire lineup for the whole entire season. This show right here will be rebroadcast on Saturday night at 10 o'clock if you want to tell all your people. And you want to tell your people, and your people can tell other people. So uh, and I spread can the word. The band, they can see what they missed. Yes. <laughs> and uh, let's see, you, you have time for one more quick one? Sure. That fades to black, but uh, it's been a pleasure having you this evening, Lance. Thank well, you so thank much. Thank you very much. All right. And uh, every evening, Whenever we play, I always play one song for my wife. Very it good. changes every night. So I've written over a thousand songs now, just to keep up with that demand. Uh, None of them are good. <laughs> like All right, one. let's have it. All right, this is for you, Amy. Uh, I know which one we'll do. We. <laughs> She needed life. 
Oh my God. 